And you teach a, a process that then people can take on in their own life and continue moving forward by themselves? I teach many processes, you know, and one of my biggest joys is, you know, I say to people, yes, you know, I can do healing, but I want you to know that you can do it as well as I can. And that's the thing that excites me, you know, like even in Paris, we're in Paris right now. Um, I, you know, I've been teaching here twice a year. And uh, for example, um, you know, so I'll teach one workshop, for, you know, and then I'll come back and I'll teach a more advanced workshop. And uh, it was so beautiful in this last one of the workshops that I was doing here, there was uh, several people who had incredible, like literally incredible physical transformations. You know, one woman, she... Miracles. You can, maybe, you know, but I, I don't call them just as miracles because it's not just a shift in the physical body, it's a transformation in how people live their life, how they understand life, how they are in their relationships, how they relate to their body, how, you know, like every level, you know. I, I see, I, I was mentioning miracle more as something that was unexpected before that just happened very, like I've heard uh, probably it happened in your seminars too, like some people just finding, can see the eyesight, like have all of a sudden they, they remove their glasses yeah. and can see properly yeah. after just few sessions no yeah and uh, for example there was a woman and um, she had so much pain in her bones that she could hardly move you know like she was constantly in pain and she had really bad digestive problems to where in one of the conferences when she came up to me she said I don't even know if I can come to the workshops uh, workshop I'm in so much pain I'm in agony and I'm on so much medication and I don't know what to do I can't even sit and uh, then she came to the workshop and she did all the, you know, the processes. Mm -hmm. And she said that by the end of the workshop, and I didn't know this until I came back, she actually had no more pain at all in her body. And then she said that she stopped taking her medication because she already, she couldn't because her body was healthy. You know, and she went to see her doctor and he said, you don't need your medication because you're healthy. You know, and uh, there was another lady in the workshop who actually had crutches. You know, and when she came in, she could not walk without her crutches. And she was, uh, she's, I think, late 50s. And uh, when I saw her, um, this is four months later, she's walking and there's no crutches. And I'm thinking, something's different about you. She goes, yeah, I can actually walk and I don't need my crutches anymore. And uh, the medication she was on, she said that it's, uh, I think, half if not more. And this is in four months. And she's had this for like, I don't know, for I think 15 years. So it's incredible mm. what happens when people connect, feel their body and free their body. And, and can you tell me about this, this sign here that you have on your book? Why is it here? I think the sign here is both to, um, to show people that this is, one, it's medical, you know, like in terms of... Uh, that this is connected to the physical body. It's not just, you know, visualizing. It's not just spiritual healing. It actually works on the physical body and it creates results. So it's to show that. But it's also to show that it's like a key inside yourself. You know, it's like the book, you know, and I always say to people, sometimes people say to me, this is my Bible. And I say to them, no, it's not a Bible. It's a guide, mm -hmm. you know. And in terms of guidance, I think what I give to people is freedom, you know, because I say to them, look, the book is a guide. I've written it uh, in a way that was to guide you, but not to say to you, this is it, right? To say to you, hey, connect to your body, explore your body, use this as a guidance system, but then find your own way. Mm -hmm. you, you have in there um, all, all the parts of the body, some... You even have penis in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just found that page. <laughs> so what is that? So you look at the part of that body. Is it because that person would hurt there, or what, what's what's going on? And then you describe how to get in connection with it. When I was writing the book, I thought, I you know, there are different books, and there's some books that are you know kind of similar in that they connect to, you know, people are talking about the body and what's happening inside the body. But I thought, you know, you know like I, I never have been interested in writing something that's already there. So what I thought was that when I looked at some of the other books that they didn't have how to do it in a way that was deep enough, that was from my perspective. 
And because I was seeing clients all the time, I needed to give them something that they could take away and they could work on in their own lives. So when I was writing the book, I thought, okay, I'm going to split it up into sections. And the first section in the book is going to be um, describing uh, things in the body, like for example, uh, all, like all the body parts. But before that, I give people an exercise, a process that where they can connect to their own body themselves and start to feel and ask questions and find out what's going on inside so that it's like they can know what it's like before they even go into the, you know, what I've written. And then I thought, okay, well, if we're going to have a problem anywhere in the body, it's going to be in some part of the body, right? Like it has to be somewhere in the physical part mm -hmm. of the body. So I thought, okay, if I'm writing about body parts and people have a, a problem, then they can connect to that body part. They can look at what's going on there. They can see what they relate to. And then I wrote a process. And a process is very simple. Anyone can do it, right? And anyone can do it like in between maybe, you know, two and maybe like maximum 10, 15 minutes, like maximum. But most of the processes are about, you know, between two and five minutes to do. And I thought everybody's busy. So I have to write something that is practical. Anyone can do it, even a child can do it mm -hmm. and I've had some really good feedback about some of the children reading out processes to their parents and their parents doing it on their children and how well it works and uh, you know and so that was the first section in the book and then I thought okay we'll have to understand diseases because people have diseases right so I wrote a section on diseases and uh, in the section I didn't put processes but I put you know thoughts emotions actions energies that would co-create this disease you know besides food and environment and uh, you know what else you know physically but how, how did you access all this knowledge this is what i would love to hear because you haven't got a medical background and yet you've written a book that is healing people right in their body so i mean this is a big deal when you start to deal with people's health what gives you the right um to to and i'm saying this in a loving way of course but w w how how what makes you what makes this possible well actually you know what happened after i healed myself i decided to educate myself so i um went to you know i don't know enormous amounts of uh, different seminars you know and workshops and i you know and i also interviewed like you are with me i interviewed a lot of people who were you know, who created modalities and who created different ways of healing. And uh, I would go to their workshops, I would learn from them. And because I already had the ability that I discovered that I could see inside the body, but I could also see energy and I could see how things worked and how they didn't work. So every time I'd go to somebody's seminar or interview them, I would learn something new. But then I could see what effect it had on a person in their body, mm -hmm. right? And so then I would experiment on myself, initially my family, friends, and then people started wanting to see me because they, you know, they were getting incredible results and because I was, you know, because I'm very... Um, I guess, you know, what I would say, they, they could actually check. Like there would be several people who would come to me with x-rays and I would say, don't tell me anything, don't give me your x-rays, I will tell you. And they would say to me, I cannot believe this. We have an x-ray and it's like exactly what you're saying, where you're saying it. And then I started working with different people. Like I worked with doctors, I worked with naturopaths, I worked with people who, you know, who were in those um, kind of, I guess, in, in those jobs and uh, a lot of doctors were recommending people to me because you know at times I would work in connection with them so they would say to me okay I have a client I don't know what to do with them I'm sending them to you you tell you tell me what you know what issues they have and then I would come back to the doctor and say actually this is what I've seen this is where it's coming from and they would see that within like a few sessions of seeing me this person would have an enormous change in their life and, uh, you know, like, and sometimes this, they were lost, you know, they would say, like, we're sending these people to hospitals to do all the tests. We don't know. Nothing's coming up. We don't understand. So, you know, for years, I, I, I think for five years, I interviewed different people. I went to their seminars. I can't tell you how many seminars I've been to because it's a lot, you know, and uh, I learned, you know, but also I was lucky because I am lucky because I have this internal ability, you know, and then I would get, you know, myself, I would have information that came 
through me and because I work and how I could write the book was because I would work with people all the time right so I would get information you know and I kept really really good notes about them and uh, once you have enough people who come to you with the same issue you start to see connections you start to see I mean we're all connected yeah yeah and I I I, I think you've also uh, well connected to the source and possibly you've been able to uh, get some information that way too sometimes that is beyond our own capacities to you know where does it come from it just comes to you so you're a great channel for that definitely you know it's a you know it's a an amazing ability but also the thing that I found the most exciting is not just my own ability but that by guiding people to connect to their own bodies it opens up their ability of their own wisdom and the, you know and what's happening in their body but then they start to connect to other people and they can also see inside other people's bodies it's not just me you know it's just that I know how to guide people how to do that in the fastest way possible and I think it's also because you know um, I've just turned 30 and uh, it's kind of like I'm very conscious of what's happening now but I'm also conscious of divine wisdom and of the wisdom of the past and of how to connect what's you know the wisdom of the present to the wisdom of the past because things are constantly shifting and changing and it's almost like every time there's a shift you know I get a message oh there's another way to do this. There's a faster way. There's a better way, you know? Well, thank you very much for taking the time and for everyone that wants to read more and have more information. Of course, I invite you to read The Secret Language of the Body. Thank you so much.